Okay. All right. This is Tate with Black Brow Doors, blackbrowdoors.net, and today we're going to talk to you about making a fast pack. Fast packs are ropes that are not, they don't tangle up for you. You just pull them, and the rope comes right out of the loop, right like this, so you can use as much or as little as you want. Now the way we make this is we've actually, I've taken some hooks out of the shop here and a couple clamps. We've started rotating it in here, and you just need to start out with five or six loops to holding it tight, and then after about the fifth loop, it will hold itself in place. Then you can go ahead and let go and just continue to make your loops and you just make a, just a V8 you know, type deal on the top where you're just making a figure eight. Now once you've got it down to a certain point, you're going to want to leave enough rope that when we pull it off, we'll have enough rope to make this center section here. And the center section allows us to, to rewrap it so it holds it in place so when we're ready for it, we can just pull it through. Now, the easiest way to do it is to go ahead and grab your hands all the way around it. You are going to take, pop loose one of the sides, or if you have pins that you can pull them all the way off, sometimes that works fine too. But I found most of the time it's a little easier if I just undo one of the sides and just slide the whole thing out. Now we want to leave the original end, the one we started with, pointing out and on a loop where we can start where it's already came all the way up and it's looping back around, we're going to start wrapping. And we're just going to wrap and wrap. And once we've got it around five or six times, then we can go ahead and let go again. And we're just going to loop it. And you don't have to make this, this does not have to be super tight. I mean, reasonably tight is okay, but it does not have to be excruciatingly tight, it actually helps a little bit if it's just wrapped. You know, and you don't have to wrap all the way down. I always kind of make, I like it a little bit better like that so it doesn't tend to tangle up with things. These are great for 72 hour kits or if you're going to carry, I mean this happens to be a hundred feet of paracord. So this is paracord that now I can sit there if I need to make a clothesline or I need to make anything, I can sit there and just pull out as little or as much as I want and it rolls right out without tangling up. And that's what's really hard with this little rope like this. You constantly end up with a little bird's nest at the end when you're just trying to roll it out of something you've already wrapped around your arm. And because we did it on this and actually stacked it, that's the most important part is we don't want to overlap the stacking. So we don't want to have a loop around a loop around a loop. We want to actually stack the rope. So when we put it together, it's set just exactly the way we want. Now once we get to here, I just take it, I pull a loop up, and I just slide that guy through like that and tie it down. And that's all it takes. Now, every time I pull on this piece of rope right here, this is going to go ahead and just pull straight through. And we'll show you with this guy here. I can just sit there and just take it and just pull. And I can pull out as little or as much as I want and no tangling whatsoever. And then once we get down to the very bottom, It just all pulls out, and we have all of our cord, no tangles all the way to the very end. So it's a really neat system for storing rope. It doesn't put a lot of loops in the rope, which you get with a lot of some of the other types of systems that are out there for storing rope, but you don't get a lot of loops until the last little bit. But most of the time it keeps it nice and straight all the way through, and you can just sit there and just roll it out right on the ground, and then when you're ready to put it back together, just put back up your hooks restack it and you're all set. So this is Tate with Blackbird Outdoors, blackbirdoutdoors.net. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.